Uh, three minutes past eight, it's time to have a look at the weather. Laura is in Nebworth. Wow, everyone, it's lightning. Proud sponsors of Good Morning Britain National Weather, Box Spoilers. And I have some friends with me this morning. I am on the dinosaur trail here at Nebworth House. My favourite dinosaur, a triceratops, but not just dinosaurs, stunning daffodils as well. And what has been a spring-like feeling weekend, but for some of us, it will feel like summer as we head through the next few days. Perfect for restrictions easing and many, many people up and down the country planning those picnics. Today, though, the weather divided. In the north, we have cloud, we have rain. The rain has been relentless. It'll be there today and tomorrow. That brings the risk of flooding through western parts of Scotland. But further south, a beautiful day. Gorgeous sunshine. It was dark first thing this morning, of course, that extra hour of darkness. But through the day today, temperatures are set to climb. They could be 18, maybe 19 today and could be up to 23 degrees tomorrow. Enjoy. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com forward slash weather. Monday, 29th of March, 2021. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Susanna Reid. Good morning, Britain. It's just gone 8 o'clock. Here's Sean with today's headlines. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, good morning. Families and friends are being asked to stick to the rules as lockdown restrictions are relaxed in England today. In a press conference later, the Prime Minister will urge people to be careful. Yes, a little taste of freedom as we go into the Easter bank holiday period. So from today, six people or two households can meet outside. And as you can see, outdoor sports and activities are back on as well. Social distancing rules must be followed and many of the scientists this morning are warning us to be very cautious in the weeks ahead. A vigil has been held in Minneapolis overnight in memory of George Floyd ahead of the trial of Derek Chauvin, the former police officer accused of his murder. Uh, in an exclusive interview with Good Morning Britain, George's son, Quincy Mason Floyd, said he's worried about escalating violence in the coming days. I feel like people are going to start rioting again. There's going to be violence. People breaking into stuff, breaking, you know, tearing down the neighborhoods. I don't feel like they should do that, but I understand their pain. They understand my pain. Concerns have been raised over a cover-up of sexual harassment in Britain's schools after more than 7,000 testimonies were posted to an anti-rape culture website. The Metropolitan Police and the Department for Education have launched investigations into the claims. There is a sense that these high fee paying elite schools have perhaps been more concerned with protecting their reputations than with protecting pupils. Not that they condone sexual harassment or the rape culture as described, but that certainly a culture of misogyny has been tolerated. There is now going to be a helpline set up by both the police and the Department for Education for anybody wishing to file a report. And the giant cargo ship blocking the Suez Canal in Egypt has been freed after almost a week. The 400 metre long container vessel, the Ever Given, was refloated in the early hours of this morning. More than 300 vessels are waiting to go through the canal, which is one of the busiest trade routes in the world. John, thanks very much indeed. Let's have a look at the changes to the lockdown restrictions.